from the depth instant tutorial. Today we're building one of the most compact and powerful engines you can make in from the depth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to fuel engines and we are going to select the fuel engine generator. Click G to align it wherever you want. Then we go to the crankshaft, add two crankshafts like this. Then we need to add cylinders on all uh, four sides of the crankshaft. Now we need to set up a pretty good exhaust system. So we're going wild with the exhaust pipes and we need to connect up one exhaust on each of the sides on the cylinders as well as one exhaust on the top of each cylinder. And the junction for the sides there. X junction there and then we have an output going up here. Now when all this is added we can add the main piece which is injectors. We're gonna add injectors they connect on two sides and we're going to add them on all four sides like this all the corners. Now we just need to go with the resources and get some fuel and it might require uh, several fuel tanks because, um, well, this engine is not exactly power efficient. It draws a lot of fuel. We're just gonna spawn something that can use up the engine power and fill up some materials. There we go. This engine produces uh, more than 4000 power and uh, just in this small form factor. So that's quite nice. Uh, however, of course, it's not very efficient in terms of material. It uses 12 materials every second, so it's not your uh, super conservative engine. And you really need this cooling to keep it uh, producing power. If you want to make this a lot more uh, efficient, you can do an easy change if you don't need all the power. We just replaced half of the injectors with radiators which uh, makes it cooler and also makes it use only half of the materials per second. So now we are almost getting to a half thousand but uh, much lower energy cost. If you want to expand on this engine however uh, it's a kind of a different procedure. Something like that. If you want to expand on this engine with a double injector for each cylinder, you'll need to have a free space in between each of the blocks. This will also allow you to have an extra uh, exhaust pipes in between here, so that all of the cylinders has uh, three exhaust pipes. This will let the engine to cool uh, better, which is nice. Now the, <laughs> the temperature of the gases here uh, should almost melt the iron, so that's kind of interesting. But anyways, we're almost uh, using 40 materials per second, so we're by no means uh, conservative. But we do produce over 14,000 power by this setup, which is kind of nice. Well anyways, that's how to make one of the most powerful engine setups in From the Depth. So now that you know, keep your engines cool and... Uh, Happy powering up your stuff.